Last chance for the Steelers. Bradshaw trying to get away. And his pass is broken up by Tatum. Tipped off! Hello everybody, welcome back to some more Info Clash. This is Gorilla, and today we're doing top 10 plays of the month. We used to do top 5 plays of the week, but now we're doing top 10 plays of the month. We're going to scatter them out through every update. So right now, all the plays you're going to see are from 1.1 and 1.2, but for this next one, I want to do all the plays for 1.3. So, 1.3 is coming out next week. If you guys got any sick clips from the update, from whenever it starts, whenever it comes out, to... Whenever 1.4 comes out, send them in as you get them at GorillaNFLClash at gmail.com. It's in the description. I want to see your clips. Interceptions, fumbles, fumble recoveries, whatever it is. Sick stuff. If you play them hard, you got like some crazy motion or some crazy deception with your placement, I want to see that too. Any bugs, any stuff like that, I'm going to throw them all in here. So send them in via email. Here are the top 10 plays of the week. I hope you guys enjoy. All right, guys, here we go. We got Benji's coming in at number 10. He's got a fuller interception with triple coverage on Adams right here. That's huge, man. You got to make sure you got at least double coverage on Adams. He's got triple coverage, though, and it's a fuller touchdown, which is, you know, a lower-ranked uh, player, but he still managed to pull it off. Excellent work. Quote the Raven. Here we go. Coming in at number 9, we got an Adoree Jackson interception with triple coverage again on Robinson this time. The reason I put this one above the last play is because it's Dory Jackson. You don't often see a Dory Jackson getting interceptions like this. You know, because Dory Jackson's got the lowest interception rate in the game. So this is a rare occurrence here. All right, here we go. Coming in at number eight, we've got Lucifer, otherwise known as Daniel Michalik from the streams. And uh, Lucifer's got a Fitzpatrick interception here with double coverage on Robinson. Right now, it's only single coverage with Jackson. But boom, Fitzpatrick in there at just the last second with his special ability that makes him rush towards the play. Really excellent interception. You don't often see Fitzpatrick even get interceptions like that, which is why I had to put it in there. NFL fan 8246, here we go. This is play number seven. We got a default safety interception. Single coverage on Ridley. Watch this, here we go. Ridley out there, default safety, comes out of nowhere, teleports the ball right into his hands and runs it in for a pick six touchdown there. Excellent work from NFL Fan 8246. All right, here we go. Sloppy Joe coming in at number six. We've got Ridley coming in. He's going to get the play. Here he goes. Oh, but no, it's a fumble. It's a fumble. Can we make up for it? Yes, we can. Another fumble, double fumble in for the touchdown. Excellent work. I don't even know who did that. It was so hectic. All right, here we go. Wag. This is play number five. Fumble. Picked up by the default safety. Default safety, can he make it in with all of these tackles? Somehow he makes it through, jukes out everyone, gets himself a touchdown. Excellent play there. All right, here we go. Number four, UC Kana. Mahomes, ready to play. But wait, there's no one to pass to. What's he going to do? Uh-oh, he gets sacked. And that's a strip sack fumble. But Mahomes gets right back up, gets the recovery, and runs it in for a walk-off touchdown. Excellent work. We had like two of these on the stream yesterday, but I still think it's one of the sickest things in the game. All right, here we go. Number three, Faz. This one's a player motion deception play. I don't know who the running back is. It doesn't tell us, but check it out. He's got him on the right side. He moves him over quickly to the left side right before the play clock finishes. Moves him right back to the right side, but he already moved his defense, and he gets some freedom. He probably would have gotten the touchdown with Saquon Barkley, but still excellent deception there. All right, here we go. Play number two, we've got a Matt Ryan touchdown. But you wouldn't expect it at first because he's got a passer. He's got a runner ready to go. So you're not really sure what he's doing. Is he going to run it with Jones? Is he going to pass it to Ridley? Is he going to pass it to them now? No, he's running it with Matt Ryan, the pocket passer. You don't see that every day. Matt Ryan is not meant to run, but he managed to pull it off with his excellent deception. And here we go. Play number one. Guys, this one's huge. I almost wanted to make a YouTube short about it because it was so funny. This is a bug from 1.1. But check this out. Funniest thing I think I've ever seen in the game so far. All right, so it's 0-14. to 14, So he's going to win pretty much either way. Eight seconds left on the clock. Cooks takes it for a touchdown, but forced fumble somehow after the touchdown. We're still going to keep going. Jenkins recovers the fumble on the other side of the field and gets another touchdown. How does that happen? I have no idea. 
But man, it was funny. I don't even know how that happens. That would never happen in real NFL, but absolute game-breaking NFL logic there. Excellent work. Great play from Cyber Bob. Thanks for throwing that in. Cyber Bob, you get the monkey for this week. Excellent work. Let's go. Round of applause for the monkey for Cyber Bob. Woo! All right, guys. Once again, make sure you send me your clips for this 1.3 update as soon as it comes out. You can send them in the first day, the second day. You can send them in a week from now. Whenever you get a sick play in this 1.3 update, send them in. GorillaNFLClash at gmail.com. I especially love when you guys send me the deception plays and great player motion slash player placement. But I also love to see the crazy interceptions, the crazy fumbles, the recoveries, everything. Any weird bugs. I love seeing them. I think they're all really cool. So send them in. I'll rank them out for top 10 next month, and we'll see who gets the monkey next month. Guys, update coming out. Supposed to be maybe tomorrow, but I don't know. Again, sometimes these updates come out in like some sort of two-day wave, so you might not get it tomorrow. I don't know. Once it comes out for me, I'm going to do a live stream, so I'll see you guys at that live stream tomorrow, Tuesday, whenever it ends up coming out for me. All right, I'll see you guys then. Have a good one. Peace out. Mess up. I don't know why it's not plugging back in. I think I might have broken it. That's unfortunate. Blow it, it, blow it like it's, uh, it's an old cartridge.